markets work. And so we've had record high prices for cattle and calves and beef uh, for all of us going to the grocery store. Prices have been record high. And that's a really a market signal telling us to do something. For producers, it's telling us to make more of it. And for consumers, it's telling us to eat less of it. David Anderson is a Texas A&M AgriLife economist. We started out 2015 with very high prices, record high retail prices. And so then we get to about the last third of the year, and we start having markets working. And one of the things is we fed cattle to record, by far record high weights. So we were actually producing more beef than we did at the same time the year before with fewer animals. International trade also plays a big role in the market. Our exports drop because of high prices. And at the same time, our imports really increased a lot uh, for the same reason. We had record high prices, so we're a pretty attractive market for a beef producer in another country. Anderson noted that prices always go up faster, then they come down, but that the larger supply of beef has started a drop in retail prices. I don't think we see it necessarily on ground beef. Because we all eat ground beef, we, we like our hamburgers, we, we use ground beef in so many things. So, so if you're thinking about selling that stuff, well, consumers going to buy that anyway. But I'll run specials on steaks or things like that. And I think we're starting to see some of those uh, features on steaks at retail that, uh, you know, to draw people in because the, the, the price of those steaks is lower than it was. So if you're a beef lover, help is on the way in the upcoming year. I'm Sho Winkley, looking at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is brought to you by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture 